If you went to school before 2006, the list of the planets in the solar system went like this. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. These were the nine planets of the solar system and we introduced them from the sun and out. But if you went to school after 2006, one of the planets was deleted and they took Pluto out of the picture. But Pluto is still there, it didn't go anywhere. It's still in its orbit in the end of the solar system. So what changed that this is not a planet anymore? Pluto didn't change at all, but human knowledge went up. And they found out that Pluto can't be a planet anymore. In the last 100 years, our knowledge of the universe has grown by a lot. We can now say that the thing that's spinning at the end of the solar system is not a planet anymore. Pluto was discovered in 1930, and it hasn't even been 100 years since we found it. But before we find out why they removed it from being a planet, we first have to find out what a planet is. In the history of astronomy, the meaning planet has changed a lot. During the time of Galileo, they believed that anything that orbits the sun is a planet. Everything was going good until 1801. This is the year that Ceres was discovered. This is an asteroid, and it's in the middle of Jupiter and Mars. During that time, they found out that Ceres is extremely small, and if you compare it to our moon, it's one-third of the size. Next year, in 1802, another asteroid was found, and they named it Pallas. And the more we move forward, the more asteroids they discovered around the sun. And they were all orbiting the sun. But they found out there are thousands of these around the sun, and we can't call them planets anymore. Because first of all, they were really different from other planets. They were extremely small, and most importantly, most of them aren't a sphere. And that is why they called them asteroids. When asteroids got their name, there were only seven planets discovered in the solar system. And until 1846, Neptune had not been discovered yet. Neptune is a giant, and even though it's really far, they discovered it a bit late. Time passed, 84 years went by, and then we get to 1930. This year, the ninth planet around the sun was discovered, Pluto. You might ask, why didn't they just add Pluto in the asteroids list? First of all, you have to know that they didn't know how this planet is, and that is why they accepted it as a planet. When they discovered it, they couldn't really measure the size, and that is why they just said it's probably the size of Neptune. But there's no mistake bigger than this one. First of all, you have to know that Pluto is extremely far from Earth and it's one of the last things in the solar system. And that is why the more advanced we got and the better tools we invented, they found out that Pluto is smaller. And the more we moved forward, the smaller Pluto got. It wasn't until 2006 that they found the exact measurement of Pluto and they found that it's extremely small and it's considered a dwarf. If you want to put Pluto inside Earth, you could fit 459 Plutos in there. Compared to the moon, it's a little bit bigger than half of our moon. In the year 2006, the planet that they thought is the same size as Neptune, it turned into a dwarf and it got kicked from being a planet. In the year 1978, astronomers found Pluto's moon. The name of it is Charon. Back then, they thought this is a decent planet, because it has its own moon. But the thing that surprised the scientists was that, why is the moon so giant compared to the planet? And it's half the size of the planet. And this giant moon causes Pluto not only to spin on itself, but to make a ring as well. 
The moon is so big that it pulls the planet with it. And this is the, one of the main things that made Pluto not be a planet. When a planet can't handle its own moon, it's not a planet. But even with all this proof, they still didn't want to kick it from being a planet. Until in the year 2005, Eris was discovered. Eris is pretty much like Pluto, but a little bit smaller. Eris is after Pluto in the solar system, and it's also orbiting the sun. When they found this and it didn't get added to the planets, it was at that moment that Pluto couldn't stay anymore, and they were forced to name it a dwarf planet or an asteroid. After this happened, they set new rules for planets. First of all, a planet has to orbit its star. Pluto does orbit the sun. Second rule, the planet has to be a sphere, and Pluto passes this test as well. But in the third rule, Pluto fails, because a planet has to have its environment free, meaning the planet and its moons have to be alone. But Pluto has a lot of trash and junk floating around it, from asteroids to that giant moon that it has. But a lot of students were against this idea, and they said this thing is a sphere and it orbits the sun. But in return, scientists say that if you want to count it like that, you have to add hundreds of planets to the solar system. First of all, our own moon, then the 79 moons of Jupiter, and worse than that, 82 moons from Saturn. All these are sphere and orbit the sun. Scientists told the students that if you want to count it like that, 8 planets of the solar system is going to turn into hundreds of planets in the solar system. But let's get back to Pluto. We talked about it a lot. Let's get to know it a little bit more. First of all, you have to know that the distance between the Sun and Pluto is 5 billion 900 million kilometers. And this distance causes the surface temperature of this planet to be a negative 232 degrees Celsius. When scientists see this planet, they say it's made out of rock and ice. One of the most fascinating things about this planet is that one night in day is six and a half Earth days, and one year on this planet is 248 Earth years. Meaning, for this planet to go one time around the sun, we will go 248 times around the sun. This dwarf was kicked from being a planet, but a lot of people disagree with this idea and say this is still a planet. But we don't know, maybe in 50 years, they'll go on this planet and say we made a mistake and this is a planet. What do you guys think? Please comment.